Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing the three new Giant Ape Extreme Z Awakenings that we got on Global recently, namely for the Fizz Kid Goku, the STR Raditz, and also the AGL Vegeta. Now, before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Madara Accounts. They are an online store for stacked Global and JP Dokkan accounts with thousands of stones and lots of top tier units for very reasonable prices. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, then feel free to head down to my description and check out their website. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. And with that said, let's uh, jump into the showcase here. And on this first rotation, we actually have the Kid Goku uh, not linking with either of the Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas, which is a little bit unfortunate. But he's starting off with uh, 85,000 defense, which is not bad considering he does stack attack and defense with every single super. And he also gets an additional attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. So let's uh, give him a super here with no links, see what kind of damage we can get. And then obviously the next time he comes back, he'll be linked up with one of his best linking partners, which is the uh, Int Kid Goku. Now this guy is a little bit outdated, so I'm slightly worried about his defense later on in the event, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, so first super around two mil, which is pretty good. It's pretty good for the first attack. Once again, considering no links activated, and also uh, his first super, he does stack, so Later on in the event, he should be hitting quite a bit harder and also be getting uh, quite a bit more defense too. Wow. Gogeta just tanked that super for 9 damage. Did not see that coming. Okay, anyways. Pretty good first um, showing for the Fizz Kid Goku. Now, moving on to these guys right here. Uh, we are going to keep them linked up for as long as possible. And they're starting with 92,219 defense and 88,308 respectively. Now for the Vegeta, he's similar to Goku where he gets attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. But for the Raditz, he's actually a nuker. So he gets the attack and defense plus 80%, but then he gets 15% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. So uh, I'm going to try to save a good amount for the... Actually, you know what? Let's put Raditz here. Let's give him seven orbs let's see uh how far that gets us so 139,000 defense now pretty decent pretty decent and then we'll give uh let's see if i give these to vegeta can we get a super with goku oh just barely okay so the super saiyan 4 goku and the super saiyan 4 gogeta um in this specific context right like in this showcase might struggle a bit with getting the supers, just because I'm really trying to showcase the Raditz and the Goku and the Vegeta, right? So, yeah, it might be a bit of a weird run here, but it's okay. We're getting encounter, which is nice. And uh, in terms of the attack, we got 2.2 mil, I think, for the Raditz, and was it 2.5 for the Vegeta? Something like that. So, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so now the Kid Goku. Has 102,000 defense, and this is after one super, and now we're linked up with the Int Kid Goku, so we're getting at least four links once we activate Kamehameha, so we should see some better damage now for sure. And uh, for the Kid Goku, he has 99,000 defense, and he doesn't really... Hold on. Wait, I was going to say he doesn't get more defense, but I'm pretty sure he does with the HP. Um... Let's see, okay, attack boost up to 59%, more HP remaining, the greater attack boost. Oh, and then, yeah, the lower your HP, the more defense he gets up to 59%. So, it's not a ton, it's not a ton, but it's something. He also gets an additional attack and defense plus 10%, uh, up to 59% with each uh, turn, at the start of each turn. So, okay, uh, his defense should be better than I, I thought or I expected once we get closer to the end. So we'll see what, that, what that's like. But for now, this Kid Goku, 2.6 mil. A pretty big jump from the last attack, which was under 2 mil. 
And now we're getting a giant transformation. We should be getting quite a few of these throughout the showcase with the Raditz and also the Kid Goku. So this is the first giant ape. Let's see what the giant ape Vegeta can do in terms of damage. Obviously defense doesn't matter because you're immortal. You basically have god mode when you're a giant ape, so that's not a factor. So let's see what kind of damage we can get with the giant ape Vegeta. Of course with type disadvantage, so we won't hit that hard, but the attack stat was about 1.14. Okay, I mean it's better than before, right? It's better than before. And one thing that's really important to keep in mind as you're watching this video is that these three units were literally, like, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say it. they were literally unusable before the EZAs, okay? Especially the Vegeta. His passive was like attack and defense plus 80% when HP is 80% or less. So, like, he had no passive to start events, right? So, the fact that he's doing stuff like this right now is really good to see. The fact that they're actually usable now, you can actually run them on teams without worrying about, like, just them being a huge liability is uh, awesome. But of course, uh, we do have some pretty high standards these days for new units and especially new Extreme Z Awakenings. And uh, for that reason, I will judge them, you know, with that in mind, comparing them to like other EZAs we've had recently. And so far, I would say I'm not like overly impressed, but I'm not unimpressed either. I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the middle at the moment. But uh, we still got a lot of event to do, so we'll see how they perform as we, you know, go along. Now, we only got three orbs for Raditz, which is going to give him 110,000 defense. Um, slightly concerning considering, you know, he only gets the defense boost after he supers, right? The attack and defense boost after supering. So um, we might take a bit of damage here if we get supered in the first slot. Let's see what happens. 110,000 defense. Okay, so normal, 70, 51, 11, pretty good. Uh, 1.7 mil super with three orbs, so obviously less damage, but that's to be expected. Uh, hopefully we fall below 80% HP soon, so we can get that additional 80% attack boost, in which case the uh, Raditz and the Vegeta will be hitting much harder. So, waiting for that. It's kind of like... It's kind of like, in a way, Big Bad Bosses, right? I mean, obviously it's not exactly the same, but with Big Bad Bosses, you're waiting to get to 80% HP or less to get the big attack and events boost. And then for these guys, you still want that 80% or less HP to get the 80% additional attack. So we haven't seen that yet. All right. Um, so we get Saiyan Roar if we link with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is obviously huge. Um, we have 104,000 defense here, so I'm, I'm gonna put him in harm's way a little bit. I'm hoping it doesn't come back to bite me, but I really want the Saiyan Roar link from Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And we also get a super off with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is nice. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay, so we're getting supered. <laughs> gonna take about 121,000, which is actually better than I expected. That's actually better than I thought, so I'll take it. And uh, some decent damage there. And let's see, 3.1 mil from the Super Saiyan, oh, sorry, not Super Saiyan, the uh, Giant Ape Kid Goku. Additional Super, 3.2, uh, not sure if the additional was from his, from his hidden potential system or if it was from his passive, because under 80% HP, he gets a, damn, okay, I was gonna say, he gets a medium chance to launch an additional Super, right? And uh, I'm disappointed by this Giant Ape transformation, mainly because, you know, we were about to get the additional attack boost for the Raditz and the Vegeta, but that's fine. Now we can see what the Giant Ape Raditz can do. Um, so let's see how his damage compares to the Giant Ape Vegeta. Giant Ape Vegeta was 1.14 mil. This guy's going to be 966k, so a little bit less, but pretty close, actually. Yeah. So just under a million. And obviously, once again, we have type disadvantage. So unless we crit here, the damage is not going to be great. But we are immortal. We are invincible, which obviously in like harder events, you know, like it can save your life. Um, 
especially if you have three of these guys. Okay, so now we're below 80% HP. We're getting an additional 80% attack from their passives, right? When performing a super attack. And let's see what we can do in terms of orbs. Okay, let's give five orbs to Raditz. All right, let's give these to Vegeta. And I'll just give, uh, I guess one orb to Gogeta. Okay. Massive difference. Massive, massive difference. 3.5 million attack from Raditz. And Vegeta, I'm guessing, is going to be a little bit more at 3.7. All right, all right. So that's five orbs for Raditz versus just Vegeta, obviously, not being a nuker. And both of them are now getting close to 4 million. And for Raditz, of course, if we give him even more orbs, if we can get like seven or eight, then he should be well over 4 million attack. And 80% is not really that bad of a restriction, all things considered. So, um, yeah, I like what I see, man. I like what I see. All right, so we're going to leave the rotation as is. Uh, let's just give one orb to the Kid Goku. Those to the Fizz Kid Goku. Defense is now up to 153,000. So he's stacking, but a little bit slower than I would have hoped. But he's still okay. It's still okay. We just obviously would like to have a few more additional supers just so he can stack even faster. Uh, 2.85 mil here for the Kid Goku now. And I believe we lost Saiyan Roar, right? We're saying for Gogeta does not have Saiyan Roar, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Yeah, no Saiyan Roar. Wait, hold on. Yeah, no Saiyan Roar. So there you go. That's why we got less attack this time. And now... Uh, we do lose the 80% um, additional attack now because we are over 80% HP. But I'm going to put Giant 8 Vegeta in the front there. Let's give four orbs to Raditz. And once again, getting a super for Goku is nice. Oh no. Okay, so we're going to take a bit of damage here. Maybe a little bit more than a bit. <laughs> Might take a lot of damage there. Okay, 260. 262,000. Oh man. Well, at the very least, we do get a uh, lot of defense, right? A lot, lot of attack and defense when we super. So it's really only that like first slot, like before you attack, like those attacks are the other concern. Once you attack, they're pretty good defensively, you know? Ooh, okay. So we get to use the active skill for the kid Goku which I almost never get to see, so let's just pop it, man. Let's do this. Still one of my favorite animations, honestly, like as old, old as it is, as like one of the original uh, active skill animations. It is really, really clean, guys. It is really, really clean. Okay, so let's do these. For Kid Goku, uh, we'll give, well, I want to save those for Gogeta, so let's give this to the end Kid Goku and we'll save these for Gogeta. <laughs> alright, alright, so now taking double digits, super 2.94, hopefully get at least one additional super here. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it, okay, well, no additional super, but we did take, uh, we did get you know, at least one super off, which means that we raised our defense, and as you can see, man, big, big difference um, in the defense, in the tanking ability, right? Like, once you super, you become so much more defensive, so much more tanky, and we took double digits for our super there. And now we got the Giant Ape Vegeta transformation. Wait, did we already got Giant Oh. Wait, how many times can these guys transform? I guess it's at least twice, right? Because we already got the Giant Ape Vegeta before, and now we got it again. So at least two transformations. Possibly more. I'm going to guess two. I never paid attention to that. I thought it was just one time for each, but clearly not. So I'm going to I'm gonna assume that each of them can transform at least twice. Um, but I, I got to go check it, man. I, I'll, I'll read their passive, actually. Or read the Giant Ape transformation section. 
once we transform back or untransform or revert. You know what I'm trying to say. So same damage, 1.14. We have type advantage now, so we are hitting a little bit harder, but still not that hard, really. Okay, so the good thing is we are getting additional, like it seems to be easier to get the supers off because we're starting with eight key as opposed to uh, a lot of times you get like giant ape or giant form transformations, you're only getting six key to start, so it's harder to get those supers. But right now we're getting supers with every single, uh, you know, giant ape Vegeta, which is nice. Yeah, some okay damage, you know, if we create, we do about a million. Not too shabby. And about 600k without a crit, okay. Okay. Pretty good. Now, at this point, I think we might wanna start considering some items. We haven't used an item up to this point, but I think we might want to think about it, at least. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I'm gonna save these for Raditz. Let's give these... Hold on, is that gonna mess things up? That might mess things up. I'm trying to think, maybe I put Raditz there. Ha, I don't know, man. That sounds like a bad idea too. But then, at the same time, there's a lot of attacks in the middle. Uh, let me think. Okay, so let's give these to Raditz first. See how much defense he gets. 154,000, okay, so if we take a super with 154,000 defense, I think we would still die. I think we would still die. So maybe just for now, I'm gonna Ghost Usher. <laughs> Play it safe a little bit. Get our Dokken attack off, and then we'll heal up, and then, um, you know, we should be fine. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, damn it. I missed one. All right, so you can see the attack stat at the bottom. 4.3 mil is what Raditz is getting with nine orbs. 4.3 mil. That's really, really good. Very impressive. And no crit there. Regular additional. Giant 8 Vegeta, 3.7 mil. Some good damage there too. And Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, only 2.2, 2.2, but he's not really getting any links, so kind of makes sense. Additional Super from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, okay. And yeah, UI Goku's almost dead. Almost dead. And we should be healing up back to full now. The next turn, there we go. Okay, so... Um... This... Mm, <laughs> this turn's gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna give these to him. I'm gonna give... I'm I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a just pop a Princess Snake. I mean, like... I'm not about to die this late into the run. That's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna play it kinda safe here. I feel like a super is gonna be happening in the first slot. Or maybe not. I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling the super was coming. Okay. No super there. Uh, Kid Goku getting 3.58 mil. Pretty solid. And okay, so maybe I was concerned for nothing. But you never know. You never know. Is there no super this turn? I guess not. Okay, never mind. Now we're gonna put the giant ape Vegeta there. And uh, even with type advantage, obviously, you know, we only have 100k defense before the super. So this could hurt a little bit. This might hurt a little bit. It's definitely going to be... There we go. Okay. I was going to say, there's definitely going to be a super in the first slot. Not bad. Dude. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. 120k from the STR UI Goku. We can live with that. And this should kill him. There you go. He's dead. Now we have MUI Goku. And that's going to be it. So, uh, with the type advantage here... Um, I'm feeling pretty good, but at the same time, I'm not feeling great about the other guys, so I'm going to pop a Whis. Okay, we have 200,000 defense. Let's give... Let's give these to Kid Goku. Uh, just give 
Ooh, I'll just give these to Int get Goku and then these to Gogeta for the super. Okay. So yeah, with the beast we with the beast. With the Whis active. This kid Goku should be tanking these very effectively. 3.1 mil on the attack. The thing that really sucks is we still haven't had a single turn where Kid Goku has supered three times, which he has the potential to. He can, right? Because when you're 80, under 80% HP, he has that medium chance to launch an additional super. Obviously, for his hidden potential, I gave him a ton of additionals. I think it's 20 to 6 for additional to crit. So, you know, we should be seeing those. Um, we should be seeing those like triple super earns. Not like super often, but like, at least we should see some, you know, we should see some. So it's been a little bit disappointing in that sense. Overall, it hasn't been that bad. But uh, I was hoping to see some some of those turns. Okay, hold on. So we have the Whis active. We should be okay. There's a lot of attacks at the end, and I can't get a super off with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which scares me. Although he does have a medium chance to... Uh, counter supers, so I guess fingers crossed that happens. <laughs> I didn't heal up because I still wanted to be below 80% HP. So 3.7 mil for Super Saiyan, or sorry, Giant 8 Vegeta. There's an the additional super at 3.87. Okay, pretty good. And uh, hopefully, oh, oh, okay, okay, so it's Vegeta getting. Super and since we launched two supers this turn, he's gonna take no damage. Okay, a little bit more damage than nothing. At least a little bit more than I was expecting, but hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, that's I thought it was gonna be double digits. I swear I thought it was gonna be double digits. But it's fine. It's fine. All right, so now we have 222,000 defense um, for the Kid Goku. Let me see. Okay, I'll give these to him. Give these to Kid Goku. And then these to Gogeta. Now, should I pop another item is the question. Maybe just to heal. Maybe just to heal up. Let's use Aider. Uh, get some extra defense too. <laughs> Looking good now. Looking very good now. And now I don't have to be worried about anything. Yep. 36, 49, 3.2 mil for the kid Goku. So as you can see, man, he does stack quite slowly. He stacks quite slowly. Um. Okay. Okay, <laughs> there was the triple super turn that I wanted to see, man. That was the triple super turn I wanted to see. Now, going back to what I said before, like last turn, um, how I said I didn't heal up to, you know, still be below 80% HP. That was actually kind of dumb, because I'm pretty sure, I mean, from what I just saw now, I'm pretty sure it only counts your HP at the start of the turn. So it's fine if you actually heal up during the turn. The, pa the, the, the part of their passive that requires you to, to be below a certain amount of HP would still apply. So I could have actually healed up before and still gotten the additional 80% attack. So just to correct myself, there you go in case anybody was wanted to comment about that and say, uh, Tiger, you're dumb. Um, you're right. I, I can be dumb sometimes. So there you go. I caught myself this time before anybody had a chance to call me out. Okay, so... I see 176,000 defense for Raditz. Give these to Giant Ape Vegeta. And that's going to do it, guys, for today's showcase. That is your... Well, I don't want to say new and improved, because Giant Ape Power was already pretty good with the Super Saiyan 4s. So I don't think these guys necessarily make the team better. But it does give you more variety. It gives you more options for the team. And just makes the category overall better i guess because you have these options now that are not as hard to obtain right compared to like the lr super saiyan 4s or the um dokkan fest super saiyan 4s these guys the giant ape vegeta the giant ape goku as well as the giant ape raditz are all very very common units that are available on every banner and if you've been playing this game for any period of time you should you know have at least a couple copies of each or at least one copy of each 
in your box. So, um, yeah, I think they're quite good. I don't think they're uh, amazing, but compared to what they used to be, which was useless, which was like not usable at all, it is a massive, massive improvement, and um, I think they're good enough. You know, I think the level of improvement is like just enough where I'm happy with it. So, that's my overall assessment, man. I think the best out of the three is probably... I mean, I like the Kid Goku a lot. I also like Vegeta. I like all three, really. Like, the only thing with these guys is like, you gotta make sure to get a super off, so they're also... All three of them really are slot two units. I mean, Raditz is slightly less so, just because he gets that defense boost as soon as you give him his orbs, so he still can at least get more defense before he attacks. But in the first slot, all three of these guys will struggle defensively um, if a super happens to be there, right? So you gotta be careful with that, which, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, but it's okay. All three are very good. I'ma uh, say Kid Goku number one for me, Raditz number two, and then Vegeta number three. Hmm, although Vegeta's more consistent, because obviously he doesn't rely on orbs, right? If you can only get him two orbs, he can still do good damage, whereas Raditz, if you give him one or two orbs, he's not gonna hit that hard, um, and his defense will not be as good. Um, so, yeah, maybe Kid Goku, Vegeta, and then Raditz would be my order, in terms of, like, who I think is the best, but they're all good, they're all good. That's my conclusion, and that's going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which one you think is the best out of the three. And as always, if you like today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.